Hi everybody, this video is going to address how I use Google Drawing. I'm a teacher and I love, love, love to use the computer um, to help me become more creative. And I like to create things on the computer and I'm really interested in tools and applications that allow me to be creative. So this tool that we're going to explore here is Google Drawing and I'm going to show you guys how I operate with Google Drawing. All right, so the first thing I might do is I'm going to look at the shapes to kind of see what shapes are available to me and what do I want to do with those shapes. So maybe I want to use this shape here to maybe create a body. Okay, and then maybe I want to go ahead and insert maybe a tie. So you can use Google's internal search engine, more search tie. PNG. Okay, so maybe we could use this tie. Okay. Probably can't see where I'm going with this as right now, but you will see. Right now, let's see. All right, so we got a little tie going on here. See? Putting it together. All right, now, um, maybe we need a nice face, so let's look for, let's look for a head. Um, Image search. I like using Google's internal search engine here. Maybe I'm trying to build dairy from the outsiders, let's say. So we got this nice little face here. Okay. So I would use this with my students if I was teaching, say, characterization and I wanted them to uh, list or understand, to be able to understand characterization on a, on a deeper level, I would probably have them draw out their characters. And then on one side, they could tell me, according to S.E. Hinton, the author, how did she characterize Darry? How was he characterized? For example, if I was using The Outsiders, this could be applied to any, any book, though. So if I was making Steve Jobs here, how does it, how would the novel, how is he characterized in there using indirect versus direct characterization? So as you can see, this is a start. Now, what if I wanted to change this hair? This is what I would do. I would go to, Down a little bit. I don't forget Google Drawing, everything works off of layer, so I gotta see how this is layered. Oh, yeah, it is layered properly. Okay, so notice I put the face first and then the hair. Okay, let's turn this hair, maybe turn it over to the side. And maybe pull this down a little bit. Oh! Okay, make this a little bigger. Okay, but as you can see, activities that require focus and concentration students would definitely be engaged with um, character development if you were study, studying characters also align with student the New Jersey student learning sta standards having students to be able to and this is just one example of how Google Drawing um, could be used in a language arts classroom however I also in my last video I, I pointed out how I utilize Google Drawing in web development thank you for watching